Peace to the God. Share this video. All right, what? Peace to the gods in the room. Peace to the gods on earth. Facts. I just wanted to open up really quick to open up this live and just express my heart really quick in this moment. I wanted to talk about parasites. Parasites. We lose sight of what a parasite is. We forget what a parasite is, especially on this level of consciousness because we've elevated so far in terms of our diet, our lifestyle, our thoughts, our vibrational frequency that we think we don't come in contact with parasitic entities. We think that we've elevated to the point where we don't have to deal with that. But really, if you break down the word parasites and what it is, is it's truly a microscopic organism that needs a host to sustain. You feel me? Parasites now, they have hijacked the, the mentality. They have, ha they have hijacked the human vessel. They have hijacked the mind of the people. So when you're talking to somebody in your reality, you got to be very careful and use your intuitive knowledge and realize if that's a parasite that's communicating through that person. Maybe the person is not the parasite. The person is the host for the parasite. That is the parasite. That's why the parasite is able to communicate through this person. I'll give you an example of what a parasite is, right? There are good parasites. Like our body has parasites that we need. This parasite features sugar and it breaks it down for us and it actually helps us. It's called candida. Like we've all heard of candida. And what it is, is like everything else in life, there has to be balance. When there's an imbalance, it causes um, suffering, it causes disease. You understand what I'm saying? When there is imbalance. So when you have an overgrowth of parasites, overgrowth of germs, which are microscopic organisms, really, you can't really see them with the naked eye. Sometimes you can when you cleanse and you poop, you can see them in your poop. They look like earthworms inside of your droppings. You dig what I'm saying? But for the most part, we don't realize that cravings and energy and sometimes our behavior comes from these parasites because they control us. They control what we think, what we feel. You understand what I'm saying? They have, they have the power to sway your opinion, to control you. That's what a parasite does. It makes you crave some shit that you know is unhealthy. It makes you crave some food that you know is unhealthy. That's really a parasite. That's not you that wants that. I'll give you an example, right? Like, you done changed your diet, right? You started eating clean. You start eating vegan and all of that shit, right? And you walk by a bakery and you smell like some funnel cake being cooked. You smell some good-ass bakery food. You could smell the glaze on them donuts, right? That's not really you. What it is is dopamine's being fired off. That's a signal going in your brain, right? Those dopamine being fired off to gain, to give your brain a signal that what it's smelling is something that's delicious, that what it's smelling is something that's gonna satisfy the taste buds. But really, that's the parasite in you. And those parasites, they regulate your body, so they're needed, but not to a point where it's a detriment, not to a point where it's, there's like a, a parasite overgrowth inside of your body. You know when there's a parasite overgrowth inside of your body when you make irrational decisions or when you make or when you suffer from like memory loss, small things, like you might forget where you put your keys, you might forget where you parked your car. When you start forgetting little things like that, that's a parasite overgrowth. That's what I like to call it. And we all have parasites, yes, but some of us have to cleanse because the parasites have hijacked our mind and they control our behavior. You see what I'm saying? This is why it is important to isolate yourself. This is why it is important to begin to cleanse, to purify your body and blood from all of the toxins that you have been putting inside of it your entire life. Since you could remember, all you've been doing is feeding yourself food for your body to begin to digest and work through and process for you to extract minerals and vitamins from. You see what I'm saying? That's what you've been doing since you could remember. So when is the last time you, 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 you gave your body an oil change, a detail, you understand? When is the last time you've treated yourself with respect? Like a lot of us, we treat our car very well, but we don't treat ourselves very well. Like we give our car the best gas, but we don't give ourselves the best fuel to power us. We don't give ourselves the best thoughts that create our feelings and actions. You see? These are parasites. You can notice a parasite in your reality because the parasite even speaks through the person. The parasite uses the person to get what it needs. 
you see parasites living in people that are obese because they know that that person is going to overindulge and they're going to be able to thrive in that environment. The parasites in me, they be tight as fuck. They be like, oh, one day we having a nice vegan meal, then the next day this motherfucker want to drink sea moss all day. Now nah, he don't want to eat today. He want to fast today. That was because I learned that from Dr. Sebi, of course, shout out to the ancestor, that the body is more at ease in a fasted state than it is with food. Why? Because food, obviously, you have to put it in your system and your system has to begin to break it down and process it. Your digestive system has to begin to digest it. And we have a long digestive system. This is why eating meat, dairy, and stuff like that is not good for us because it sits in us and it festers forever until it finally comes out. So when you use the restroom, when you poop, when you give back your energy, that energy is not from now. That energy is weeks old. That energy is days old. You see what I'm saying? We have to have the understanding of our power. Like, yo, I have the ability to cleanse myself. This is why I cleanse myself. Because I know that there's a, there's a parasite in all, there's parasites in all of us. But I just want to make sure that the parasites that are in me, I train them to feast things that are healthy, healthy for both of us, not just them. Because if you listen to the parasites only, you'll be feeding them chips and honey buns and wine and liquor and all of that all day. The temple is not the church, but the avatar. Facts. Wow, that was eloquently put. Because that's how we got to see it. Like, yo, this is my avatar. This is the device I've been given to manipulate energy in this realm. So yeah, I'm going to treat it the best. Yeah, I'm going to give it the best of things. You see? Yeah, I'm going to keep it in its natural state. I'm going to adorn it, but I'm going to keep it in its natural state more than... More, more than not, like someone like myself, I, I like to indulge in extremism. Like I'm a bit extra with everything I do. So obviously, if I go in, if I if I go in, ascend to a level of consciousness where I want to live in my natural state, in my natural environment, where I want to begin to be natural, I'm gonna do that at all costs to the furthest extent that I can do it. I won't cut my hair. I won't be using these artificial products on my body. I'm gonna only use. What I know is going to help my avatar. You see what I'm saying? We forget what this is. You're not your body. You're greater than that. You're, you're, your, your true highest self can't fit inside of your body. Your body could fit inside your mind, though. Because your mind is what gave you this body. Your mind is what created this realm. Your mind is what gave you this life for you to experience and gain the lessons that you need for your soul. Your mind. So your mind is what gets hijacked when these parasites are, have, have became uh, malignant to the point where there's an overgrowth of parasites within you. And a lot of foods that we eat feed these parasites. But again, there are good and bad parasites. Do your own research. What I'm saying is you can hear them speak through people. Like you might just be chilling, having a nice, beautiful day, a random conversation. Or a specific conversation And then a, ra a random statement Might come from that conversation Somebody might just say some shit like Oh I want pizza Or I want burger Like it's just The parasite talking through them Trying to feast certain foods Because it'll keep it And these parasites right They live in fat They live in grease They live in like creamy Thick food This promotes their Reproduction So our body is the perfect place for parasites It's warm It's dark it's full of fluids. They can thrive. But you have to learn how to purify yourself and cleanse of these parasites. No one can give you a diet. No one can give you a cleanse. All people can do is help you from where they're at. All people can do is offer you what they have to help you get to where you need to go. But you know what you eat and that's not good for you. You know the behavior you indulge in that's not helping you. You know it. You are your best friend and your worst enemy. Become self-critical, self-analytical, do the math. When the body's in a fasted state, it is more at ease than when it's digesting food because you're putting the digestive system to work. And although it is designed to work, perfection, we have reached a point where we overwork it. Like we talk about the ancestors a lot. They didn't eat meat three times a day, three meals a day like clockwork and snacks in between. They didn't do that shit. They didn't have the luxury that we have to be gluttonous.
Exactly. God speaks through us when we got ailments in our temple. So we can change. We have everything we need. We choose our heaven to hell. That's so fucking real. You choose. That's what you're given over the rest of the life forms on this earth plane. You're given dominion in the sense that you have free will. You have self-awareness. You have consciousness. You can make decisions from a self-aware place. When you see a beautiful animal, they're just experiencing life and enjoying it. They don't know what they are. They're not critical of themselves. They're not. They're here to be self-preserved. They're here to pre pre self. -pre they're here to exercise self-preservation and make sure that they last, that they live, that they thrive. So if you coming up to them trying to hurt them, they're gonna flee from you. They don't really fuck with the people, with the humans. Because they know we are more destructive than not. They can feel our energy. Energy speaks before you do. When you come around certain animals in the wild, they just get away from you. Because they're like, nah, we don't trust y'all kind. It's like they see the parasitic behaviors in us. That's what this is, a parasite that has hosted the mind of the collective. So when you see the world, right, and you see war, you see poverty, you see crime, when you see uh, capitalism, all of that comes from an entity that is just parasitic in nature. That system comes from a mindset that is savage. To be one with harmony, to be one with nature, to be one with self, has nothing to do with these colloquial shackles that they gave us, has nothing to do with the system, has nothing to do with what we've been taught about our history, about our education, our miseducation that we've been given. That's not being sovereign. That's not true freedom. You give yourself your freedom. Your freedom is to live as you were designed to live. Your purpose is to live as God in human flesh. You were designed to be God. If you look around, the thing you've been praying to, that thing that answers your prayer is you. Demons need a host, that's a fact. Parasites are like demonic entities, little demons that need a host. And then they become stronger and stronger and they demonize the host. They make the host indulge in things that they need to promote their longevity. They take over you. So we have to cleanse ourselves sometimes. And it's not even because we're full of parasites. It's just in case if we are. We got to take preventative measures with our diet, with our lifestyle. And diet is everything. I love to talk about diet because I realize that diet is everything. Yo. Everything you eat affects your body. But everything you see affects your body. Everything you speak affects your body. Everything you do affects your body. You're like this big plant. So think about the plant you have at home. If you stop feeding that plant, if you start speaking negativity into that plant, if you start putting fear and doubt into that plant, that is what the plant will grow out of. That's what the plant will turn into. You are a plant. You got to give yourself the fresh, the best of oxygen, the best soil, the best food, the best sunlight. You are the host. So now you have to ask yourself, are you going to allow a parasite to control you? To have dominion over you? Like the God said, demons need a host. You are a host. They need you. You don't need those parasites. You don't need that unhealthy food that you know ain't good for you. But it's hard to control yourself. It's hard to have that discipline to refrain from doing it because it's not even you it's the parasite this is why isolation is imperative this is why cleansing is imperative because when you isolate you can see that it's you it's not others no one else is to blame but you and when you cleanse you realize how things truly feel in your body like you could say oh shit I, I don't like that I'm just so used to eating it. it's a cultural thing I grew up eating this shit but when I haven't eaten in like a day and then I eat this and it don't feel good that's a clear indication that you shouldn't be eating that. Don't feel good. You could disguise how it feels. You could pretend, but you the food, your body don't lie to you. Your gut don't lie. So, and this goes into the different aspects of our life. Like the like the divine masculine and feminine energy, 
It's all, it's like the men want to be women and the women want to be men. Especially the ones who have not grown consciously. Some women in the system think that their strength is to be greater than the man, to be stronger than the man. When they don't realize that their system is to balance that man. That, that their purpose in the system, that their purpose, not in the system, their true cosmic given div divine purpose is to balance their man, to live in harmony with their man, to be one with their man. Their man isn't greater than them. They are not greater than their man for they are one in the same. They are equal parts to a whole for masculine and divine feminine energy. God, woman, and child is the true holy trinity. See what I'm saying? They allow, they allow these foods to infiltrate our neighborhoods to make us eat unhealthy, to prevent us from eating healthy so we could be full of parasites. So we don't know how to interact with each other. So we don't know how to balance ourselves. So we're not able to communicate. So we're, able to, so we're only able to allow parasites to speak through and for us. This is all by design. So you have to look around. Like when you might see people on TV and that's a parasite speaking through that person. You don't realize it. And a lot of parasites, they do more than just make you eat unhealthy food. They control your behaviors, your desires, your thoughts. You see? At the end of the day, we all gonna get the answers we looking for. When we transition from this physical existence and we're transitioning to the light, to that beam of light that we all come from, the closer we get to that, the more we start to understand who and what we are. The more we get the answers that we always we're looking for and, and we were on the quest for on this existence that is when the answers will come to us that's when you will realize that you truly are god that all your desires were mere mortal that all of the things you thought were important are mere lower self mortal desires that comes from the evil one that comes from your sleep self your lowest animal self when there is a higher self the crown chakra the god essence within you as well a lot of us have tapped into that essence but most of us won't even won't even realize we're God and human flesh until we do make that transition. And we have to come in contact with that omnipotent light, with the creation, with the most high. That's when we will realize like, oh shit, none of this was even important. I was just allowing different entities and energies to control my life. You gotta live for you, you gotta be happy for you. So you gotta ask yourself, is this food that I'm eating really healthy for me? Does it feel good? And if it doesn't, then you have to do what you must do. Yeah. She said, the God, shout out to my wife, uh, Melanated Mermaid. She said, television tells lies to your vision. You feel me? That was the illest analogy because that's exactly what it does. It presents to you a false sense of reality. And it allows you and it helps you and it gives you the tools to mimic that false sense of reality. And you begin to chase and chase and lust after things that were given to you by this tool, by this TV, the idiot box. And I seen this post on Instagram. If I could find it, I'm going to definitely repost it. And it's like about a guy just living his life according to society. And all you see is the calendars passing by. And all you see is the... the the, technolo the technological devices that he uses for work changing and his suits changing. But all you see is him on that rat wheel just breaking down and becoming uh, a, de a degenerative version of himself and getting older and breaking down and breaking down and breaking down to the point where it's like it's over. Life has passed you by. And all it was was like the changing of the calendars flashing by you. You see? So we have to step off that rat wheel and be like, no, nigga, I was taught to eat this shit. This shit don't even feel good. I was taught to smoke this shit. This shit causes cancer. I was taught to drink this shit. This shit ruins my liver. Tell live vision breeds fear into the mental. That's real. That's a fact. And fear is false evidence appearing real. We live from a place of fear. That's why we're not able to manifest truly because we get stuck. Like we trying to manifest something, something in our reality comes along to create that doubt. We, became, we become fearful, then we forget what we was manifesting. We unfocus all our energy that we have honed in into our manifestation and it goes, and it just obliterates itself. 
that's basically what I wanted to express for y'all today. Like, make sure that you are able to sit with yourself and do a cleanse if you have to. Don't let parasites run your life. Don't allow parasites to control you. You stronger than them. They only exist because you keep feeding them and feeding them and feeding them and giving into them. Be strong. Be powerful. Share this video. If you haven't heard these words today, I love you. And you have no choice. You are the chosen. You are God in human flesh. You are God realized. The only thing you're doing here is experiencing life to bring you closer and closer and closer to that light that you come from. Now, your actions are either taking you closer to the darkness or closer to the light. But let's not forget the light comes from darkness. So it is all divine. So peace to the gods, peace to the goddesses.